Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of DrER.TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between steroids and cellulitis. We have all seen or heard of the typical case, a fiery red leg that is warm to touch and patient feels sick with fever or chills. Objectively, you might find dermal edema, which is skin swelling, lymphatic dilation, and neutrophil infiltration. There's plenty we can talk about the empiric antibiotic choice, but for practical purposes, you should just do Keflex four times a day if it's uncomplicated cellulitis, and Bactrim DS two tablets twice a day for complicated cellulitis with pure lens formation, whether that be abscess or phlegmon. But what about steroid use in the setting of cellulitis? Back in 1997, there was a randomized trial that studied 112 patients hospitalized for cellulitis. In immunocompetent patients and non-diabetics, the antibiotics were given alongside a week-long tapering dose of prednisolone versus placebo. Those in the steroid group benefited from 1. Decreased healing time, 2. Improved length of hospital stay, and number 3. The duration of IV therapy went down. The follow-up of these patients over time showed no difference in relapse or recurrence. So this applies to non-diabetic patients being discharged from the ER with a diagnosis of cellulitis. These patients often come back for re-examination after the subjective belief of treatment failure. You see, many of our patients are instructed to come back to the ER if the infection area is progressing despite treatment. Some of them will show up with permanent marker lines drawn around the area of cellulitis that was done on their previous ER visit. And this will result in the perception that the treatment therapy has failed because the area is increased. However, most of this increase in redness is due to inflammatory response and not to true treatment failure. Steroids and its effect of the inflammatory response can help alleviate some of these inflammatory response symptoms sooner and give the patient an early sense of improvement. Therefore, the use of steroids would result in less 24-48 hour revisits to the ER and in decreasing the chance of patients being admitted to the hospital for perceived treatment failure. So if this is so wonderful, why isn't steroid use standard of care? Why don't we do it on all patients that don't have diabetes and are being sent home on antibiotics? Well, the main thing is clinical fears of um, immunosuppression, that is decreasing the body's ability to fight infection, or the significant side effects caused by steroids scares providers into not using it as standard therapy. As for me, my mind is made up. Steroids in uncomplicated cellulitis, it's a go, and will be part of my standard treatment of such patients. Again, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I am an emergency physician, and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about cellulitis and steroid use in uncomplicated skin infections. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video you just watched, please click the like button. Then please leave a comment and join the conversation. Ask me questions. I will try to post an answer. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video.